Hello, I'm here with Paul Mullen from Young Legionnaire and uh, today obviously doing a session but we're going to talk through his rig for today. Uh, so Paul, what do we have guitar wise? Guitar wise, uh, I'm a lefty so whatever I can get my hands on really, you go into a guitar shop and you have like a choice of two guitars. But I managed to get this SG which holds um, bottom A, I tuned down to A. Um, and this is the only guitar that seems to keep it, and it sounds flappy enough and heavy enough, and it's got the, the beef. Yeah. Uh, uh, Epiphone Casino from 97, I think it is. Uh, a great all round guitar, really. I've used this more on, the, on records than I have done any other guitar now. It's just so, so versatile. Mm. Um, and it's slowly becoming my favourite guitar now. Which I didn't think was possible because this is the first guitar I ever bought. And it's a um, Fender, Fender Telly. Telly, yeah, reissue 62. Uh, I bought in 97 for 250 pounds from a place called Grot Guitars in Newcastle. Wow. Which isn't there, I don't think anymore, it was on Elden Square. Um, and yeah, that has been on every single record that I've ever recorded from like Milo, Automatic. Losers, <laughs> Young Legionnaire, it's been everywhere. Travel the world with me, so uh, amazing stuff. Which was good for the for the three guitars in Milo, but with with Young Legionnaire, there's just there's just the one, mm. and it just just doesn't cut through as much. So I've I've, I've opted for the hollow body and the and the SG, which just really filled out the sound a bit more, you know. Mhm. Mm cool. Um. So there they are. Amazing. Um. Right. Amp wise, what we're we running today? We've got the PV Delta Blues Two Ten. Uh, and this is just, yeah, phenomenal amp, really. I've got a couple of these. Um, uh, I, are, you, I used it. are you kind of like a use the amp for drive, or are you more driving from pedals? Pedals, uh, yeah, are, are more my, my thing. I just use a really good clean sound, and uh, this has one. It has a really good drive channel as well. I was using it um, on the last or first Young Legionnaire record, Crisis Works. I, we were in a studio in Wembley. And they had one there, um, and it was just, uh, you know, I can't remember what I was using at the time, maybe a blues breaker, and I had my old orange. Mm -hmm. um, but then I started using this, and it just, again, it just cut through really well. It worked so well with Gordon's bass, and I ended up getting one, two, in fact. Oh, cool. So, yeah, and it's great, great for, great for gigging. It's, and great, you know, it's a good all round of practice, gigging, and studio amp. <laughs> Uh, pedals wise, what have you brought with you today? So it's a bit of a mix mixture today because um, in a couple of the projects I use different things and one of my bands, my guitarist has got uh, one of my, some of my pedals so I, I, I nicked this from uh, Luke from Horsefight which mm -hmm. um, I'm also play with, it's really good, I normally have an OCD there but this guy is the Turbo Rat and he is broken and he's been broken since the day I bought him <laughs> and uh, I'm, it's actually my sound again. I've had this pedal forever, and this is the first thing, other than you know a super shifter or an OC three that I maybe put in beforehand. Mm. This is the first. This is the first thing that happens. Yeah. On my pedal board, everything else delays and stuff. But this is always the the, the, the first guy. Mhm. Mm and uh, he's broken. Yeah. I think just because of the cheap components that they use with some of these pedals and you know mass produce, some of them have either just not been wired correctly or they're just. Yeah, faulted ever so slightly, which is fine. But this, I bought, I, I replicated about ten years ago. I got an exact same pedal board with all the pedals, and so I got a Turbo Rat, and I was just like, it sounds completely different. It sounds great, but not like this one. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a, it's an interesting. And are you running delay things? I see. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this is a, a mixture of just how I, I use uh, I I use this board. We just swapping out a couple of pedals for like a vocal thing as well. Hmm. So I'm doing a lot of stuff with my vocals through the through the DD5 and DD7. I've also got a DD3 that I don't bring. DD5 for holding stuff, you know, just to, to grab a couple of notes and, and and vibe it out. Yeah. Mainly when I'm tuning after a song <laughs> during yeah, yeah. a set, so it doesn't sound um, dead. And uh, are you using the delays on any of the tracks we're doing today? Yeah, yeah. I I, I mean it's it's. It just depends on how, how I feel and how it feel on the track. Oh, great. Okay. Um, some of the reverse stuff on the DD7 we'll be using, but it's mainly just just to fill out some 
on the odd occasion that I do a little solo on the tracks, then I'll, <laughs> I'll put them, I'll, I'll put a bit on just to make it sound nice and that. Amazing stuff. Thanks, yeah. Paul.